The Alabama Jazz Collective held their debut concert on Troy University's campus at the Claudia Crosby Theater on Tuesday night. Members of the band were excited to be back in action after a year of playing without an audience. It felt great. It's what we've trained to do, it's what we like to do, and it's what we haven't been able to do for the last year and a half. And so it's, it was a really um, joyous experience to finally be back where we should be. Members throughout the jazz community formed the group during the COVID-19 lockdown, which made it difficult to all come together and share their love of jazz music. They only had two group rehearsals before this first performance together on Troy University's campus. We all know each other in the, the larger jazz community, you know, uh, regionally and nationally really, but um, so, so we knew of each other and it was a relatively easy thing to put the band together. And so we, we had one rehearsal in the summer and we had a second rehearsal today. And uh, so this is our third time ever doing anything. Performance selections range from Sponge by Randy Breaker, <laughs> and Wind Machine by Sammy Nastico. Audience members enjoyed being able to watch this group after a year of not being able to see many live performances. I love jazz. I'm a saxophone player. I'm actually in Dr. Camwell's uh, studio. And so getting to see him perform live and actually do stuff like that is kind of neat to see. You know, it kind of breaks that barrier of student and teacher. And you kind of connect in a way with jazz. The group will perform again at a campus not so far away from us. Our next performance is Monday, September 13th at uh, the University of Alabama in Tuscaloosa. So, and that's another free concert and will be in the evening and is free and available to the public. Bella Johnson, Troy, Trojan Vision News.